thousands of objects, all heading toward Earth. So, why could only the Rubin telescope see this? Because no other telescope is built like it. Its enormous mirror and the most powerful camera ever made allow it to sweep across the entire sky, capturing vast oceans of starlight at once. It can see the big picture that everyone else is missing. And that picture was horrifyingly clear. Thousands of bodies spilling out of deep space in perfect, terrifying formation. What made it so frightening was the uniformity. Every single object had the same speed, the same trajectory, and the same strange green-tinted tail as the original Three-Eye Atlas. Avi Loeb's team analyzed the light and found nickel, cobalt, and high-temperature alloys, metals forged under industrial conditions. All of them glowed with a strange light driven by carbon monoxide. It was a fleet. The infrared data made things even worse. Each of these new bodies was about one-tenth the size of Three-Eye Atlas, but their power source was twice as strong. Scientists had already been puzzled by the main object's estimated 10 gigawatt power core. Now these smaller companions were each radiating 20 gigawatts. To put that in perspective, our biggest nuclear power plants weigh thousands of tons and struggle to produce a few gigawatts. These objects are no bigger than a city block, yet each one radiates enough power to light up entire nations, all while hurtling through space. Top scientists at Caltech and MIT tried to model it. Their supercomputers repeatedly crashed. The physics simply didn't work. You can't fit that much power into such a small object without technology far beyond anything we can imagine. Meanwhile, the multiplication continued. Loeb's team calculated that a new object was appearing every 0.1 milliseconds. They were just blinking into existence, too fast for any of our sensors to capture the moment of their creation. It was as if they were uncloaking or passing through an invisible gate. This incredible speed might seem alien, but the universe is full of extreme events. Gamma-ray bursts can release more energy in milliseconds than every star in our galaxy combined, but this wasn't a natural burst. This was controlled, methodical, and relentless. So how is it happening? Two main theories have emerged. The first, from Avi Loeb, is the mothership hypothesis. He suggests 3i Atlas is a self-replicating factory. It sweeps up dust and gas from interstellar space and uses a powerful internal reactor to forge new probes from that raw material. It then launches these finished craft into our solar system. That green tail isn't melting ice, it's the high-temperature exhaust from industrial-scale forges and reactors. This theory gained massive support when new data showed that 3i Atlas had gained over 20 billion tons of mass in just a few months. It's not shedding material like a comet, it's actively gathering it. The other theory, proposed by Michio Kaku, tries to find a more conventional explanation. He suggests that 3i Atlas might have suffered a massive collision with an unseen asteroid. This impact could have cracked it open, releasing a cloud of thousands of fragments. Because the impactor was traveling on a similar path, the debris would all move together, looking like a coordinated fleet. But the data from the Rubin telescope contradicts this. An impact would create all the debris at once. Instead, we're seeing a steady, continuous stream of new objects appearing day after day. It looks less like a crash and more like a factory with a daily production quota. Loeb's team is certain. These probes are not random. They are powered up, advanced craft, designed to get close to planets while the main ship hangs back. In the worst-case scenario, he warns, they could be autonomous drones sent to map our solar system or to take something valuable. While the scientific world buzzes with these terrifying possibilities, the world's governments have been strangely silent. NASA and the European Space Agency have only issued brief statements repeating that there's no evidence of any threat. The White House simply said, we are aware of the situation and monitoring it. This silence is deafening. Leaked memos, however, paint a different picture. Inside the Pentagon and European Space Command, emergency briefings are underway. Contingency plans are being drawn up. China is reportedly redesigning its heavy lift rockets into high-speed interceptors. Private companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin have been contacted about launching rapid reconnaissance missions. It seems that behind the scenes, a silent mobilization is taking place. So, what do you believe? Is 3i Atlas 
just a bizarre natural comet behaving in ways we've never seen before? Or is it a vast alien machine assembling a fleet of probes right under our noses? Is humanity on the brink of its greatest discovery or its greatest threat? Let me know your theories in the comments below. What do you think is really happening out there in the dark? And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel because you won't want to miss the next update.